So today we'll start with chapter number 3 in dices and cube root. nth root of a is expressed as a raised to 1 upon n. Now let's begin with the practice set 3.1. So as we do, you'll understand. The first sum says fifth root of 13. Now fifth, the word fifth is actually going to be the denominator when we write it in the index form. See, I have shown you there the fifth, the root comes as the denominator. So the answer will be 13 raised to 1 upon 5. The second one says sixth root of 9. That is, the answer will be 9 raised to 1 upon 6 since 6 is the 6 is the root. The third one, square root of 256. Now, square means 2. So, here we have 256 raised to 1 by 2. Cube root of 17 means 17 raised to 1 upon 3. 8 root of 100 means 100 raised to 1 upon 8. Seventh root of 30 means 30 raised to 1 upon 7. Part 2 of the exercise is just the reverse order of part 1. Now here what you have to do is that you have to write nth root of a in each of the following numbers. Now here 81 raised to 1 upon 4 is given. So when you write it in the worded form it will be 4th root of 81. Second 49 raised to 1 upon 2 is given. It becomes square root of 49. Since I told you 2 stands for square. 15 raised to 1 upon 5 is 5th root of 15. 512 raised to 1 upon 9 is 9th root of 512. 100 raised to 1 upon 19 is 19th root of 100. 6 raised to 1 upon 7 is 7th root of 6. Now let's start with practice at 3.2. In this, you are given a table and you have to complete that table. Now, there are two columns, power of the root and root of the power. Remember, when you have that index form, the numerator is the power and the denominator is the root. So when we, write, when we write power of the root, so what we do is we write the numerator first. And when we write root of the power, you write the denominator first. That is why the first one is 225 raised to 3 upon 2. That is cube. When we write in the power form, it will be cube of square root of 225. Cube first because it's the numerator, it's the power. When you write the root of that uh, root of the power, you write square root of cube of 225 because 2 is the denominator and it is the root. The second sum 45 raised to 4 upon 5 is fourth power of fifth root of 45 and when you write it in root form it's fifth root of fourth power of 45. 81 raised to 6 upon 7 now again it's the power form first so you have the numerator first so it becomes sixth power of seventh root of 81 and when you write the root of the power so that time the denominator comes first so seventh root of sixth power of 81. Similarly, 100 raised to 4 upon 10. Now, the numerator comes first when it's power of root. So, fourth power of 10th root of 100. And the denominator comes first when the root, it's root of the power. So, 10th root of fourth power of 100. The last one I have left it blank. That's for you to do it. Now, part 2 of exercise 3.2 is again the reverse order of part 1. Now you have to write the following numbers in the form of rational indices. Now the first one, square root of fifth power of 121. I told you the root goes down as the denominator and power goes on top as the numerator. So here we have 121 raised to 5 upon 2. The next one is cube of fourth root of 324. Now here again 4 goes as the denominator and cube that is 3 goes in the, as the numerator. So it is 324 raised to 3 by 4. The third sum, fifth root of square of 264. So here 5 goes as the denominator and, and 2 goes as the numerator because the word square is mentioned. So it will be 2 which will go as the numerator. Hope this is all clear to you.